Todd Falcone, I wanted to share something with you. I uh, did a conference call last night and the conference call was prompted, or the subject of the conference call was prompted by a conversation that I had on, on the soccer field and then an article I read yesterday. And it all uh, involves the whole idea of getting better, of improving. Um, and I'll just basically share this with you. And I think it's, uh, it's an interesting th thing to take a look at, especially if you're, in, if you're doing anything and you're wanting to improve on it. Uh, this is certainly uh, an activity that we know improves, but I think sometimes people don't understand how powerful uh, that activity is. So uh, here's a story. So uh, a couple weeks ago, I was on the soccer field, and I met a father of uh, one of the kids I was on the soccer team. We got in a conversation. I come to find out he's a PGA Tour player. And I asked him uh, how he got started. We get in this whole conversation. I'm, I'm a golf fanatic. I love to play golf. And he said, uh, you know, you know, he's, I asked him, well, how long have you been playing? He said, well, I've been playing since, since 14, and, and now he's 27. So that's only 13 years. So the guy literally didn't pick up a golf club until he was 14 years old. Now he's 27, playing on the PGA Tour. Um, if you don't play golf, just to give you some perspective on how good that is, <clears throat> there's about 61 million people in the world that play golf. Okay, 61 million. 0.2% of those people, 0.2, not 2%, 0.2% of those people ever in their lifetimes break a score of 80. That's, you know, and, and just, so, just to give you even more perspective, if you're shooting under 80 once, you're probably okay. If you shoot under 80 regularly, um, you're considered a very good amateur golfer. Uh, about 5% of all golfers ever in their entire lifetime of playing golf ever shoot a score of under 100. So that gives you some perspective. I'm going to give you a little bit more deeper perspective. An average tour player, an average decent tour player, their average round in a, in a round of golf is about 74. Um, a high level, uh, winning, victorious, consistently top 20 type of golfer um, has an average round of about 71. So why am I sharing all this? Well, just, just so you guys understand um, the value of uh, practice, because here's the thing: when I talked to Richard, uh, I was I'm thinking, wow, I'm pretty impressed. Like this guy, 13 years of only 13 years of having a club in his hand, is now on the PGA Tour. And I said, well, how did you do it? He goes, I loved to practice. I still love to practice. Any time I could get on the practice tee, I was on the practice tee. And I just really found that interesting. And and I've done quite a bit of reading on on golfers and top golfers, and we all know that practice is important but I m my question to you is how much are you actually practicing if it, again if you want to improve because I did something on this conference call I unmuted the lines and I had about I don't know, maybe 400 people on the call is a smaller call but uh, I, when I asked the, I asked how many of you guys are never practicing it was like almost everybody on the whole call wasn't practicing even a little bit so if, if we go back to the example of like the people that, uh, you know, out of 61 million golfers, only 5% ever break 100, those people might be practicing a little bit, but you have the tour players, <clears throat> the, peoples that are, the, the people that are considered professionals in their game, uh, ones that are actually earning a living doing it, are practicing all the time. I read an article about, I don't know, this probably seven or eight years ago, when Tiger Woods and... VJ Singh were the two top golfers in the world at the time, and VJ Singh, one of the, it was the, at the time the number two golfer in the entire world, was hitting an average of 400 golf balls a day during practice, 400 a day. So what's that mean to you and me and all of that with regard to network marketing? Well, I, if we want to improve and get better results in the things that we're doing, maybe we should look at how much time we're spending practicing. Well, okay, let's, then let's, narrow, let's narrow it down to one activity, prospecting and recruiting, right? I mean, that's really an activity that we do an awful lot of in this business. How much time are you actually practicing, not doing practicing, the recruiting and the prospecting and the communication? I, was t I will say this, that communication skills are the number one skill that you're going to want to acquire as a network marketing professional, period. Other skills are important for sure, but communication skills are critical. How much time are you actually practicing uh, on your communication skills, I know me, 
and I know there's a lot of areas that I practice a lot in, and there's a lot of areas that I don't even practice close to enough in, and I'm scratching my head going, well, how come I'm not that good? Well, it's obvious the reason I'm not that good is because I'm not really spending time practicing on improving my skill set. So again, as I end this video, just look at how much, if you want to get good at a particular activity, how much are you actually practicing in that, that activity now? And if you practice more, could you be a lot better than you currently are? So just a thought. We'll see you on another video. Bye-bye.